Good morning, everyone. It's Melody Lane here. And it's not morning at all. Like, I think I'm going to bed next. And sorry about yesterday. I uploaded it so late. I, I was so tired last night. I just went to sleep after I did my video. I was too tired to edit. And if I'm too tired to edit, it's going to be a horrible edit. And it's going to be a horrible video. So I decided to do it in the morning. And then I had a headache and then I slept more and it was late so sorry and I think I was procrastinating because I didn't want to clean because I hate cleaning I was cleaning off my counters I was moving the toaster and the coffee maker I was taking everything off the counters and cleaning and disinfecting everything guess what I found some mouse droppings I think my paper mice turned into real mice okay not really but sounded like fun huh I did have mice last winter, and I've used every trick in the book to get the mice out. I tried those humane traps, they didn't work, they wouldn't go in them. And then I tried real mouse traps, the old fashioned kind, the wood kind that has a thing that flips and hurts them. They just walked around them I think. They actually took the food out of them without snapping the trap. So I have pretty smart mice. And then I got the glue ones, the ones where they get stuck on glue. And I think I caught two that way. And that was really sad. Lived a slow death. Stuck on that. That it was just horrible and terrible for the mice. And I know they're mice, they're gross, they're rodents. But they have soul too, I think. So I really don't like killing them. Last year they've never gone up on the counter. And they've never been in the upper cabinets where I keep the food. So it's always been safe. So far, there's not been no mouse droppings on the cabinets, but there were on the counter. So now, I looked up on the internet. There's got to be a way to get rid of them. So I looked it up, and peppermint oil. Look. I read about peppermint oil. And then I read other sites that were selling other kinds of traps, saying that peppermint oil doesn't work. Well, I think they were saying that just so they could sell their stuff. But, you know, you never know. I know it doesn't hurt. It's actually good for you. It has many things that are good for you. And I just saw online. Now, you didn't hear this from me because I just heard it from someone else in a video that peppermint oil is good for not getting cancer. I don't know. But it's good if you have allergies. It helps with concentration. And... It's just good. You know, I don't think there's anything bad about it. Gets rid of antibacterial. And the guy in the video says it also helps with worms. If you have worms, I guess. Maybe if your dog has worms. Oh, I would hate to think a person did. But I have heard of that. So it does help that. It expels them. It also helps keep insects away. They said to get cotton balls and soak the cotton balls. I didn't soak the cotton balls because this comes out with drip. Like it just barely drips, you know? So I did a lot. I think I actually used, <laughs> my bottle is all the way down to here. Yeah, I used a lot. I, I wasn't trying to save it. I put it on some cotton balls and put it around where some things where I saw some little droppings and around other places, just put them in my drawers. I just kind of put them everywhere. And I also cooked some on the stove. I heated up a pan on the stove and poured some drops in. Started making my ice water and coughing as I picked up the pan because then it was just smoke of peppermint. So I kind of turned, <laughs> took the pan and walked around the house. The whole house smells like peppermint now. Maybe all the mice will stay away. Well, I did that a few times. So far, because after I cleaned the countertop before I bought the peppermint. I cleaned it and disinfected it and then I'm like the mice are just gonna come back. I have to do something. So that's when I went online and then I decided they said you can get it on Amazon. I wanted it right away so I ran to the health food store. This was $7.99. I actually found it cheaper on Amazon but I wanted it right away. I went to the internet to check on how to do it and when I went back into the kitchen there were more mouse droppings on my counter where I just cleaned. Yeah, 
So now this is many hours later. I even put some food on the counter to lure the mice in. And they didn't get it. There's no more mouse droppings. There's no mouse droppings anywhere now. So I like sanitized counters and everything. The floors. I swept the floors and mopped the floors. Oh, and I put this in the solution with the floors. That's also why there's I use so much. I put this in the solution to mop the floors. So all my floors smell like peppermint too. I don't know what it's gonna be like. Like when I come home from work tomorrow and I'm not used to this peppermint smell, I'm gonna walk in the door and be like, whoa, I think the peppermint is working. Okay guys, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye. I got to sit here and I ate my lunch and I had a drink and then I had a Tootsie Roll pop. It's a really good day at work today.